Thanks for joining me. I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and this is a demonstration of how to use the Lightning Strikes Essentials Brush Pack for Corel Painter Essentials. Let's start with the first brush, and that is called Cold Spark. I'm going to select a brighter blue color like this, and I'll paint on a new layer set to the screen composite method. And let's say where the lightning striking this tower in the distance, we'll have some cold sparks coming off of it like this. If you want bigger sparks, you can make your brush bigger. Moving on to the next brush, we have Emission. And this is the point where a lightning bolt might emit from the sky. So let's say we're going to have one right there. We can just tap in an emission point. You can make your color darker if you want it to build up more slowly. I think I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll create a new layer for a lightning bolt that's going to come out of that. I'm going to make sure to set the composite method to screen. And let's use rough bolt. This is a rough lightning bolt. I'm going to pull down pretty quickly here, and that gives it time to be more jagged. If you move too slow, then it builds up on itself too much. So the quicker you can make this, the better. But because it has the rough edges, that's why it's called rough bolt. And if that's too thin for you, you can increase your brush size as well to get a thicker lightning bolt. I'm going to select solid bolt now. If we do a very quick straight line, then you can see it's still a little bit jagged, but not as jagged as the rough bolt was. So you can get something that's a bit more precise with this particular lightning bolt brush. The next brush is called Spider, and if we kind of pull off of the edges of this lightning bolt that we already created, you can get these kind of spidery legs that come off of the lightning bolt. We'll skip over Strike for now, and we'll move on to the next lightning bolt type, and that is Thick Bolt. This is a big, thick lightning bolt that's very opaque and bold. After that is Wavy Bolt. If we pull down quickly with that, you can see it's more wavy and the curves are more smooth rather than being jagged and angular. So again, you could use this to pull off of existing lightning bolts. You could do something kind of like that. And then the last lightning bolt type is called Wild Bolt. Now Wild Bolt is a little wild. You can try it and see, but as you pull down with it, it gets kind of stuck and then it jumps around. And this makes it a lot more random. So you'll have a heck of a time getting it to go exactly where you want it, but that's kind of the point. It'll be more random and chaotic. and You won't know exactly where it's gonna go. You will occasionally end up with this little additional mark up here. If you don't like that, just switch to your eraser and erase it. And if it's not lined up exactly where you want it, you can always free transform it as well. I can line it up better without a mission point there. Now you might be wondering how I make my lightning bolts glow. One way to do it is to create a new layer, set that composite method of the layer to screen, and then you can paint over that bolt with an airbrush. Be very careful to keep your paint centered and that will add a bit of a glow to it. If we do a before and after, you can see what that's doing. Now it's being a little sloppy there. Again, you wanna make sure that it's pretty well centered, so take your time. So that brings us to the end of the lightning bolt types, but there's a few brushes that we skipped over that are kind of supplemental to the lightning bolts. Let's go to Hot Spark. I'm gonna create a new layer to paint on. I'm gonna set the composite method to screen, and I'll choose kind of a dark yellow color. Now this brush is going to shoot out sparks from the center, so my center point is going to be right here on the tower. I'll just tap and hold and I get those sparks that fly off of the tower. And I could tap to keep building them up like so. Put some over here on this tree, coming off of it like that. The next brush is called Ionized. I'm going to go ahead and just sample this sky color here. And I'll just paint with a light pressure here and you can see I can create these nice glowing clouds. This works great for painting storm scenes and night cloud scenes. As you start to build it up, it'll get lighter and lighter, so you can imply a light source. You can also change the composite method just to a normal or default layer, and you could use it to put in darker, more opaque clouds as well. Moving on down to the next brush, that is Strike, and we use this to create that lightning strike on the tree. We'll pull a lightning bolt off of this one and we'll have it hit this tree. And now we can add the strike. I'll choose a dark orange color. I'll just tap and hold and let it build up. And choose a lighter, brighter orange. That way it has a mixture of the yellows and reds in it. And then of course, if you combine that with the hot sparks, then you can get a really interesting effect as if the lightning is hitting that tree. So there you go. That's a demonstration of how to use the Lightning Strikes Essentials Brush Pack for Corel Painter Essentials. If you enjoyed this video, take a quick second to click the like button, and if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to get more Corel Painter tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.